So in today's video guys, I'm gonna give you the top 5 best tips for beginners in a hero's destiny. Now I have really really good tips, I haven't grinded too much and I'm already level 17,000. Hey guys, my name is Crisis and you are watching Gameflix. My tips are amazing, definitely give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and comment down below tips for your friends to see. And yeah, let's get started! So tip number one guys, we have the AFK farming of strength and agility. Now this is not a cheat, it's just something you can do and it's amazing. So what it does basically, you have to install an auto clicker and I know this may sound scary, it was scary for me too at first, but it shouldn't be. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below, you can download it. And trust me on this one, it's not a virus, it's nothing like that. And what it does for you, you can set it to click on your keypad or on your mouse and it will just do this all day. And what that does, basically, if you go to stats, it will increase your strength. Now, I'm way too strong to see this. I'm gonna have to do this for a while so you see an increase, but that's not what matters right now. And until you're level like 5,000, this will help you out a lot. You can actually see my XP going up as well, which will make you level up a bit while you're not even at the keyboy. Another very important asset you need in this game is the Phoenix class. You need to get it as soon as possible because it will really help you out to begin. Now I'm using the Tour class which is the strongest class in the game, but how you're gonna want to go get the Phoenix class is just going to the class changer and just spinning. Now I have infinite spins because I have the infinite spin game pass, but it doesn't matter that much, you're gonna get it quite easy. Just play for a bit, get a bit of yen and yeah, get the Phoenix class. Why did I mention the Phoenix class? Well, it offers the longest range moves and all the abilities are actually long range. So that is amazing because some of these bosses are AFK and you can just go long range and oh, I killed that player. But for example, you're gonna see here, there's a boss right there in the desert and I can shoot him all the way from over here and he won't even know. Now I think he's already dead because I'm too strong. But he doesn't even know and imagine having all your abilities long range, you can just farm these bosses without them even knowing you're killing them. Another very important thing you're gonna need with the Phoenix class is of course the Alien Eye Relic, which what it does, uh, if it's gonna show me, it's 40% critical chance, which is amazing for farming from long range because you do more damage basically. But it's quite hard to defeat Pogos when you're a really starter. So what I recommend using for start is of course the Crab Claw, which you can get really easy. It's a bit more damage, it can be helpful. And yeah, in order to get the Crab Claw, you just need to defeat this little boss here who has 1,500 health. You can do this really early on, so just get it real fast and yeah, move on. So now I'm gonna show you a grind pattern you're gonna wanna use if you wanna get higher level really, really fast. And so if first you're beginning here, you're gonna be level one, level zero D rank. And what you're gonna wanna do is grab this quest right here, which is gonna give you a bit of money and stuff and defeat these bandits over here. And that's gonna be the first quest. Do that until you're level like 20, I don't know. Then move on to the crab here, which is gonna give you that relic I talked about. Kill him a couple times, move on. Uh, next up, what I recommend actually is fighting the paradisers. So I believe the quest giver is around here somewhere, this girl. And you're gonna wanna go here and defeat those guys a couple times until you level up a bit. And maybe try to fight this guy after, the head of steel. He's quite easy, so just make sure you keep it long range, maybe with the phoenix class if you can get it early on. And then you're, what you wanna do is go to the abnormals, which here is where you're gonna grind a lot. So 150k XP is a lot at the start, so trust me on this one, you're gonna wanna go here. And if you use my farming method, now you can actually go really fast between those guys, catch them all so they get your attention. Kinda like zombies, as you can see, they're now fighting me. Grab everyone, I don't know what's going on over there. Something is definitely going on. And you can actually go up here and they won't be able to come up. And now you can just damage them from up here since you have long range moves. And it's just an amazing method. I don't know what this girl is looking at. But yeah, I'm just gonna shoot. Boom! So after you're done over there with the abnormals, go back here in the spawn area and head into the back here, which you're gonna fight one of the first bosses you need to fight, which is of course the crown sea monster. So 500,000 XP, he's right over there. And if you have the Phoenix class, you can fly exactly like me right now and just shoot him. And you're gonna do this for a while and it's gonna die, you're gonna get the XP and everything is gonna be awesome. So do that a couple of times, then you can move on to bigger boys. So right here, 
uh, in the back of the map you can just go here grab this quest and just to show you this is straight to the right from spawn and you're gonna want to defeat that boss over there no need to get in close and personal to level up fast as you can see he's dead of course you're not gonna do as much damage as me at the start but uh, just be patient defeat the bosses and you're gonna become very strong moving on the cities over there the beach then you go back here there's a guy right here which will tell you to fight mr armored beetle and you're gonna want to go into this cage now this may be a bit hard but if you go up here he can get to you and now you just shoot at him and he's gonna die and whatever and yeah that's another boss you can defeat really easily then you do that for a while and you move on to guketsu you grab this quest right here this one is the one i farmed the most i even remember and you can go anywhere you want over him because he doesn't have any long range moves and just shoot at him boom and oh he's not even dead wow you're a strong guy as you can see even to me he does a lot of damage when i get up close and personal uh yeah so anyway after you defeat this guy a couple of times you're gonna start getting a higher level like i'm talking maybe five to ten thousand you can do that until then then you're gonna want to move on to mr pogo's right here so this is the big deal this is where you get the alien eye you just grab this quest right here to those stones and yeah you go here and defeat mr pogo's this guy can be quite annoying so i recommend keeping the distance if you still have the phoenix class uh, if you change classes it's not the end of the world but this guy can be very very aggressive and high damage and from then on you're gonna start to become good at the game and you won't need my help anymore there's a lot more bosses over there over there that mountain that little thingy over there and yeah so this has been it for me for now guys thank you so much for watching this video i really hope it was helpful for you guys don't forget to give it a like subscribe to the channel and with that said i'll see you all in the next video bye bye guys